Miracle Star Temple. We're going to be reading Isaiah 33, verse 1 through 10. It says, Woe to you, O destroyer, you who have not been destroyed. Woe to you, O traitor, you who have not been betrayed. When you stop destroying, you will be destroyed. When you be stop betraying, you will be de betrayed. O Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in time of distress. At the thunder of your voice, the people flee. When you rise up, the nations scatter. Your plunder, O nations, is harvested by the young locusts. Like a swarm of locusts, man pounds on it. The Lord is exalted, for the dwell for he dwells on high. He will fill Zion with justice and righteousness. He will be the sure foundation of your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. Look, dear brave men, and cry aloud in the streets. The envoys of peace weep bitterly. The highways are deserted. No travelers are on the road. The treaty is broken. The witnesses are despised. No one is respected. The land mourns and wastes away. Lebanon is ashamed and withers. Sharon is like the Harabah and Bashan and Camel. Bashel and Carmel drop their leaves. Now arise, says the Lord. Now will I be exalted. Now will I be lifted up. So let's see what the note says here. It says the destroyer in Assyria. Assyria continually broke its promise, but demanded that others keep theirs. It is easy to put ourselves in the same selfish position demanding our rights while ignoring the rights of others broken promises are shattered trust and destroy relationship determined to keep your promise at the same time ask forgiveness for past promise you have broken treat others with the same fairness that you demand for yourself in 33 verse 2, it says, These are the words of the righteous remnant who were waiting for God to deliver them from the oppression. It says in 33 verse 5, When Christ's kingdom is established, Zion... Jerusalem will be the home of justice and righteousness because the Messiah will reign there as a light to the world. The new Jerusalem will be the holy city. And you can find more about um, the Messiah reign in Jerusalem in Revelation 21 verse 2. So brothers and sisters... You have a blessed day and God be with you and your family. Be safe.